All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. It's been a couple of years since we've seen you guys in the last episode of Wu Assassin, so let's just get a little baseline real quick. Talk about where we find both your characters as we start here in Fistful of Vengeance. Mm. So Zen is still playing Zen, and um, I my whole purpose in this film is to make life very difficult for the Wu gang. Yeah. <laughs> That's my purpose. <laughs> I was going to say, hasn't nice. that kind of been her purpose since, like, the, the <laughs> moment we saw her? Kind of <laughs> the first one? Well, no, I was, I was, that, that was, that was like with, I was loyal to Uncle Six and all the backstory, right? But this one, my whole purpose was really to come on. That's true. You, you're not quite lying in the weeds as much in this one as you, as you were in the, in the early part of the last one. That's for sure. <laughs> Lawrence, what about you? Where's Tommy at when we get things started? Um, I guess for Tommy, like, you know, it's a, it's definitely a dramatic change. Obviously, he's not, you know, he's not on drugs anymore. He's clean. And now he just has a different purpose, you know, like family and uh, the people closest to him are really important to him. And so just, you know, the title, Fistful of Vengeance, we go out to Bangkok to seek vengeance for um, the death of my sister. And just that base note for my character uh, brings out. The, the anger within him and then um i think it that's just sort of what what drives his character throughout um the movie um with the um with with also with the idea that you know he also loves his brothers like um, um lucian and um and 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 kai you know it's funny i want to actually expand on that a little bit because we talk about just for, justice for jenny and i'm sure that kai and lou want that as well but, I mean, you guys, like you said, you are family. You might have different ideas of how to get that justice. Could we maybe see a little bit of tension within the group because of that? Because, again, you know, brothers fight. Yeah, totally. You know, like, there's definitely there's definitely tension, you know, like, for these characters. Um, the journey is for them to get on the same page, you know. And there's, you know, there are all these outside elements, uh, mystical things, all these things that are happening. But in the end, like, the enemy is pretty much uh, the things that we are fighting within ourselves. And so once these characters figure those things out, then they can do anything, you know? And uh, um, hopefully the, the audience gets that, and then you see that unfold in the movie. Mm. Totally. Now, Juju, we know that Zan's been hungry for power for a while now. Maybe maybe not since the beginning, like you said, but definitely been hungry for power in the latter half of the of uh, Wu Assassin. So she might have taken on Uncle Six, but could could this new threat that we're going to see in Fistful of Vengeance actually make things a little bit more challenging for her to be able to do that? Well, I also have special power. I don't want to get, give away too much stuff. That is true. <clears throat> so, um, but I do have made a deal with Penn, which is played by uh, Jason Tobin and Chi played by Yaya Ying, um, to help defeat Kai. So Kai is my ultimate, you know, goal. I need to kill him. And <laughs> the rest of the gang. Hey, hey, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> easy now, easy. Now. <laughs> it's a good thing we're on Zoom right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, I want to go back to you for a second because we know that Tommy, he might not have powers like legs like Zan does or, or Kai, but he's still, he's got some skills now. Could we actually see him get a chance to showcase maybe more of his talents in Festival of Vengeance? Maybe we learn he's a bit more resourceful than we thought he was. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? You're going to have to watch the movie. But yes, you know, he still is a scrappy character. Um, and, um, you know, Tommy, there is like a, this kinesthetic energy to Tommy, even like throughout the first season, I feel like it was within him. And so just to be able to see that expressed in a different form, in like a, in a more elevated form in, in this movie um, will be, I think will surprise audiences. I think you're right about that. Now, Juju, I mean, your extensive martial arts background, I think that's pretty well documented at this point was on full display in <laughs> Wu Assassin. So did you want to go into this kind of trying to top that with, with the stunt team and stuff that you've already done, maybe go a little bit above that for this movie? And what was it like having Zan tangle with Kai again? Oh, it's great. Um, first off, because in the first season, I didn't get a chance to fight with the Wu Assassin. Uh, and this time in this film, I got to fight with him twice. It's great. And the first time I even win. Um, okay, I can't say too much. Can't, can't say too much. <laughs> but but yes, um, 
uh, uh, fighting Eco is is lots of fun, and because uh, he she, he I don't think he has really um, uh, you know fought against uh, female villains much. He did uh, maybe a few, but so this time we have a bit more, you know, things to play with. Because how me as a female um, can take on someone like him is like a really badass martial artist. He's Eko Yuais, who is in the Ray, right? And the Wu Assassin. So it's great. The choreography that we had was uh, uh, really fun to play with. Uh, make, we had to make it really convincing uh, to show that how a smaller person, um, how a woman can, can beat a guy like that. And it worked. And uh, we, we did some rehearsals before. And then when we were, say, at the alley, the narrow alleyway, um, some of the moves would have to change a little bit to fit the environment. But it all worked out really well. Um, and at, in the Iron Factory, that fight is, I really like that fight. The whole entrance of Zan going down and face off with him. Uh, the whole setup is, I think, is really epic. And the way role uh, our director filmed it, it's, it's very, very good um and i did show the stunt team some of the moves that i want to put in and they incorporated some of the moves in which is awesome because every time before a film i will try to research and see what moves i want to do that the audience haven't seen before and um yeah there are some cool moves in this film yeah there's no doubt about that the, the setting is really too cool too and before i let you guys go i wanted to ask you because wu assassin was set primarily in san francisco this time you're moving things to thailand First fistful of engine. So I wanted to ask the both of you, how do you think that this setting really helped add and enhance to this story this time around? Man, the setting in itself is just a character in itself. You know what I mean? And to be able to to navigate a story with like temples, with caves, with like the the street markets of, of Bangkok, Thailand was just breathtaking i feel like for all of us as actors mm. you know we're all artists and so to be able to 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 perform and uh and like do our art in such <laughs> such a beautiful setting in, in a place that is so unfamiliar especially to me i've never been there before um man it's just it, it it's it's like it's cool it's breathtaking yeah, I love Bangkok. I go there all the time. It's one of my favorite places. And this time I got to work there and film at different locations and some exploring places that I have never been to before. It, it's it's a different experience than just touring, you know, Thailand. So and then and from watching the film, you will see, as what Lauren said, temples and th these all exotic places that we discovered through the film. It's it's. Yeah, people will enjoy watching the film uh, for the action, for the characters, and for the whole backdrop of Thailand. It's, it's a really beautiful and hardcore film. Yes. No doubt yeah. about that. And you can find out because it's now streaming on Netflix. Make sure you're watching Fistful of Vengeance. You know, rewatch Wu Assassin too while you're at it. Get yourself caught up. Go right into Fistful of Vengeance, making a nice binge over the long weekend. Lawrence, Juju, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you.